Brian, thank you. Greater Dayton RTA is looking to reach more areas tonight with public transit. Joining us live is the Director of Planning and Marketing, Frank Eckler. Frank, yeah. thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. On this rainy, stormy day, yes. but nice now. Got to come sure. a little nice out. Um, and hopefully nice for tomorrow, Brian. You said Brian assured you the weather will be nice because you guys have a big event at we do. Square, a, a rally. Talk to us about that. Yeah, this is Stand Up for Transportation is what it's called, and it's 11 a.m., Courthouse Square. Square, and it's really a national movement. Um, we're urging Congress to please pass a long-term meaningful transportation bill. This is not just about supporting public transit, but really our nation's infrastructure, bridges, roads, etc. We've had a lot of short-term bill approvals that really hasn't got the job done for our aging infrastructure in our nation. So this rally, which is going to be nationwide in cities all over the country, there will be parades, there will be op-ed pieces, uh, interviews, you name it, to urge Congress to vote on a longer-term bill. Okay, so say a senator is sitting in front of you, what do you want to tell them? What does a long-term viable bill look like to you? What do, what do you need from it? For well, it, it's, it's something more than a six-month bill or a mm -hmm. kick-the-can-down-the-road type of bill as far as a time frame. Uh, we've had a lot of short-term appro short approvals of bills, and frankly, it needs to be something where jurisdictions, like a jurisdiction we just talked about earlier, uh, Dark County, where they said they simply where don't they have can the money budget and plan ahead and be able to plan for projects in the future, uh, especially for our aging infrastructure. We are struggling in this nation, and we need to. We need to fix our infrastructure very, very, very soon. Looking for a little more help from the federal government sure. to do that. So that's what the rally is tomorrow. Yes. Also, let's talk about the RTA. Now. Yeah. Um, very we're exciting. Just, yeah, we were talking about you guys are adding stops. One yeah. reason being we're seeing a growth in business, and it's, these workers yes. need to get to those new sites. So tell us about those. Yeah, it's great news. Uh, P&G, of course, up mm -hmm. north, uh, the Delphi facility, mm -hmm. Northwoods Boulevard in Vandalia, uh, Austin Landing, a lot yeah. of jobs. Uh, not only access to jobs, but medical services and things of that nature in the region. We're finding more and more growth where folks are interested in using public transit to get to and from their destinations. So we are going to be growing along with the growth that we're seeing here in the region, and that's exciting. Yeah, and you said one over here at the uh, Fuyao Glass America in yeah. Marina at the former GM plant. Yes. Um, we're fortunately right here, right now, right so we're ready. Right in our backyard, yeah. yeah we're and ready. you gave an interesting t statistic. You said 60% of riders are going to and from work. Yes, on the RTA, and that's a pretty common statistic at yeah. a lot of transit systems throughout the country. Um, it's very, very important lifeline for individuals to get to their jobs. And also, um, let's just just briefly, adding more stops, maybe Dayton, the Green, Dayton Mall, the Green, how are, what's the status update there? Well, we're working with Glimpshire Properties to improve the bus stop at the Dayton Mall area. Okay. We have not reached a mutual arrangement there, but certainly one, we would like to see something, as well as our citizens, something that's safer and closer sure. to the Dayton Mall. Again, a lot of folks who ride there, they're going there to not only shop, but they're also going there to work. Okay. So we're looking for something with better access. So we'll, we'll stay in touch on that. Please, Keep us posted please do. On, the, on the updates on those. Let's uh, put up the full screen of the event tomorrow. So 11 a.m., the Stand Up for Transportation mm -hmm. event. Uh, Frank, thanks so much for Thank joining us for today to me. give us an update on the RTA and transportation in general. I will. Thank mm -hmm. you.